Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards. My name is Karen Hashik, and today I am doing a two-part video. I recently received the new, brand new Nouveau Shimmer Powders from Tonic Studios and I have had a play. I have um, done sample uh, mixtures of colors and different papers and I'm just going to show you the papers and how the powders look um, individually for the first part. Then in the second part I'm going to come back with some card samples and also some techniques um, and some things from start to finish. Um, Nouveau Shimmer Powders are watercolor powders but what is different about them is that they have a shimmer of mica in every one. Um, there's a beautiful metallic color burst when you use them. So for example this one is the Blue Blitz and um, I simply sprayed it, uh, sprayed it, you tap it. You tap the powder out. There's a nice little nozzle and you just tap 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 and then you spritz it with water and this is the look that you get. I'm hoping that you can see, although it is subtle, but there is a shimmer in there that makes these different. They're bright and colorful and a shimmer of mica in there and they, they make just gorgeous um, backgrounds and cards. So that is the Blue Blitz. This is the Solar Flare and that is really nice and sparkly. I used this one on almost all the cards that I made because it added a really beautiful gold yellow uh, sparkle to the cards. Uh, this is my favorite. I will admit it. It is Violet Brocade and can you see why it's my favorite? It has light and dark purples and blues all mixed together. Isn't that cool? That's, I just, that's my favorite. Um, this is maybe my second favorite because, again, I love the mixture of the colors. This one is Catherine Wheel, and it has reds and pinks and yellows all in one. And, again, there's that beautiful shimmer. Um, it's subtle, but it's there. You would see it in real life if you can't see it in the camera. It's just really beautiful. Um, this one is very cool, too. It's Atlantis Burst. So it has the darks and the lighter greens and then a touch of blue in there. This one is Green Parade, so uh, that is a pretty green, but it has a touch of blue in there too, and that pretty shimmer. Now this is watercolor paper, um, and most of the first samples that I'm showing you I made on watercolor paper, um, but I did show some, I will show you some other papers as well. This one is Cherry Bomb, so it has the pinks and a touch of purple in there, um, very pretty. And this one is Storm Cloud, and I would say that is exactly the perfect name for it. Um, if you, uh, you just tap, 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 and add water, and you have what looks to be a stormy night sky. I can't wait to make a card with that. So now I'm going to just show you some that I did. My, this was the very first one I did, and I love combining the colors. So I will tell you that this one was with Catherine Wheel, which was the kind of the pink one, the Cherry Bomb, and the Solar Flare. So combining those colors, just tap, 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 spritzing, and then um, letting the water uh, move around. Um, what I like to do, and I'll show you later in the video, I like to tape the paper down. You don't have to, and on a few of them I didn't, but there's a lot of warping to all the papers if you don't, and if you tape the paper down, then um, the uh, it doesn't um, the water doesn't go all to the edge uh, like I would on some. This one is really, really pretty. Um, it is a Solar Flare, which is the yellow, the Violet Brocade, and the Blue Blitz. So again, um, if you can see that, there's a really pretty shimmer to that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to design some cars with these as backgrounds or else die cut them. I haven't decided yet. And come back with those. Um, again, a really pretty sparkly shimmer to that. This one is Atlantic Burst, Green Parade, and Solar Flame Flare. 
and then um, after I put those on and put water on I added a little bit more and, and didn't add any water so you kind of have your burst there of color um, which I think is very pretty this one is is very fun um, I decided to try a uh, this is like a handmade paper so it's not watercolor paper and it's got a real good texture in there I used storm cloud which is the black and gray and violet brocade on a handmade paper now isn't that pretty and wouldn't that make a gorgeous background maybe for a masculine card and can you see the shimmer in there um, I watch Pala at um, Creativation take the uh, Tonic Studios Nouveau um, what is it? I think I got it written down here it's the Aqua Splash spiced green and yellow um, so it's the aqua flow um, pens aqua flow pens and the colors are aqua splash spiced green and yellow and um, so she would took the those colored pens and water pens and then she added um, the powders to that I added green parade and violet brocade and that is a very bright pretty background um, which I, I'm sure I can die cut something out of there and make a beautiful card this is one of my most favorite techniques and I, um, I probably will show it from start to finish because it is just too fun if you take glossy paper and then if you take a cling wrap and you sprinkle the um, Nouveau shimmer powders right into the cling wrap and you spritz it with water and then you take a glossy paper and you just put it in there and then it has to and then you wrinkle it all up so you want those wrinkles in the in this saran wrap or cling wrap and then it has to dry for a while um, this one happened to be a um, a photo glossy paper you know you have those for your photos and I use the black and the violet brocade and I love how that turned out and I can't wait to make that into a card um, these next two were a little more subtle they didn't have the black in there um, and they were more the traditional glossy paper this one was violet brocade blue blitz and solar flare so a touch of the yellow in there too with the um, again putting it in this in the saran wrap and then putting the glossy paper in and wrinkling it all up um, so that too would make a fun background and then this was similar um, this one was violet brocade uh, blue blitz yellow and I used a little iridescent gold um, tattered angel spray to just for the heck of it and I got even more uh, a little more glitter uh, glimmer on there so um, either a fun background or cut a die cut out of that we'll see this was a very fun experiment um, I wasn't expecting this and I had to go and order some more of this paper because um, I just thought this was very very cool this is the I have the name somewhere uh, freshwater pearls um, tonic studios paper they have really cool really neat um, textured papers if you, if you ever you know go look on the website and you'll just fall in love like I have this one was white and so I thought well let's start with a white textured paper and then add some of these and see what happens and this was blue blitz and violet brocade and just look at that see that was just my first sample I wasn't sure I was gonna like it but once I did I made some bigger ones um, look at that isn't that pretty that is um, the Atlantis burst and the solar flare um, and there's just a beautiful shimmer to that I, I could definitely see die cutting something out of that and because I loved it so much I used up I used some bigger ones too cherry bomb Catherine wheel and violet brocade uh, made this one and that one would be pretty for a background um, with a blue Atlantis burst and violet brocade so um, definitely I'm getting some more of that paper because I, I have to make some more then I was experimenting and I decided to go with I all those were like a white background so let's go with some colors to start and here I'm just using a, a pink cardstock with obviously some pinks and purples and everything in there um, the cherry bomb and the violet um, brocade and um, I could see making butterflies or flowers out of that um, another pink piece with the uh, violet and, and um, blues and pinks on there that beautiful shimmer in there now um, 
you know, I could cut down, I could cut out some flowers or butterflies or cut this down a little bit and make, put a strip on it. So there's lots of possibilities. I can see a lot of cards happening here. Um, this one was a medium blue, and I used Atlantis, Atlantis, uh, and cherry bomb and black um, on that so uh, uh, so very very pretty um, this is another technique that I absolutely love um, I started with some yellow and green and purple um, shimmer powders and while it was wet I added some Nouveau um, embossing powder and then I took a heat gun and I heated I you know uh, heated it and then um, after it was dry then the um, embossing powder then embosses too it takes a while but then you have this the sparkle and the texture of the embossing powder in addition to the um, sparkle of those colors so that was pretty and so I made a full size sheet for this one doing that same technique I had violet yellow and cherry bomb and then I um, while it was wet I added the embossing powder and then I dried it all um, and there's wonderful texture, but there's also shimmer in there. Um, I tried some on craft, and I'm happy with how they turned out. Um, this is just the greens and the blacks on craft, a very pretty masculine background. Um, again, on craft, this time the yellows and the blues. Um, and I, again, you know, I could see it for a masculine card or, or for anybody. I particularly like this one that has that touch of the black again, the blues and the greens, um, and um, the shimmer is there, um, but it's rather masculine looking. This is another favorite technique of mine, and I think I, I will show you how to do this um, in the when I actually show techniques. Um, this one is if you start with a white tissue paper. And you need to put it on a rather uh, solid surface because you can't move it once you, so you sprinkle on the, the shimmer powders and then you spritz it and it's very, very wet and it has to sit for probably several hours. Then you take it and you crumple it all up and you put it on a piece of cardstock that has sticky two-sided tape on it. And then you take your, your VersaFine or your uh, whatever kind of embossing, uh, stamp pad you have and touch it um, and you just basically want to get the wrinkles and then you put your N Nouveau embossing um, powder on it or some kind of a gold or or whatever color you would like embossing powder on there and this is the look that you get so I'm going to finish this one probably on camera and show you that technique but that is a very cool technique again all of these are starting with the shimmer powders and then um, doing fun things with them um, I'll show you this and tell you I don't recommend it. I decided to try it on vellum. Not, not so much, okay? It's really not really going to um, do much for me. So these are going in the garbage. But I thought, well, I'll show them to you so you know when you're playing um, what you want to do and maybe what you don't want to do. Another technique that I had not tried before, and I was watching the Hochanda shows um, I don't buy from Hochanda, it's in the UK, um, but um, Pala and Jody um, show wonderful techniques um, that can be used for any products and she's, uh, Paula, Pala has been showing the Nouveau Shimmer Powders and what she was doing is, is um, putting a piece of solid uh, cardstock down under a um, uh, stencil and in this case, this is a Tonic Studio stencil. And then sprinkling on the Nouveau um, shimmer powders in various colors. And then using, um, I use the Nouveau Glimmer Paste in Moonstone, which is clear. And it picks up all that color and spreads it. And it's just, just beautiful. Um, there are... Uh, Glimmer Paste and, and other colors that I could try, but I was just using the um, Clear Moonstone um, in my play today. So um, on this one I used the um, yellow, um, the blue, and um, no, you know what, that, that note goes with something else. But anyway, it is obviously this is the um, purples and the blues. Um, and you just sprinkle it on and you just spread it down. So um, that is a really gorgeous background there. And then um, 
I had this beautiful um, chunk of, of the glimmer paste that I could not put back because it was full of color and I'm like well I'm not wasting this right so there's my colors it was Atlantis blue blue and purple with moonstone glimmer paste okay so I took that chunk and I pulled out a uh, stencil that I have from Faber Castell um, these are kind of neat for um, for 3D or, or mixed media type things because they're sticky on the back. And I had gotten those and hadn't had a chance to play with them. So I put one down and I took that mix that was already left over from that other one and I got this background. Um, on this one, I again used a ice layers is what it's called. So it's adhesive on the back textured adhesives um, and this one's called arrows from F Faber Castell and I used the yellow and the black and the kind of the reddish shades and they kind of mix together as you go down as you can see so um, um, but that is very cool um, and really she just showed it you just you don't have to mix, mix it beforehand although you could do that you just do sprinkle a little sprinkle a little sprinkle and then bring it down with the with the glimmer paste so not hard to do um, I'll probably show that um, in my later parts of this video um, this one I'm not sure if I'm keeping or not um, this what was left over from the mix of that one so it had a touch of the black a touch of the yellow a touch of the red and when it mixed together that's it like it's a unique shade We'll see what I, what I can do with it. That's another Tonic Studios um, uh, stencil. And here's my last one. Um, this one I did using a Tim Holtz Sunray stencil. Isn't that pretty? And I used yellow and just a touch of red to make it interesting with the white glimmer paste. So I can see that that's going to make a really pretty card. So I'm going to come back again and show you some card samples and some techniques from start to finish. But I didn't want to cut into any of these papers without showing you. I am back and have many sample cards to show you using the shimmer powder papers I showed you in the first segment. I will have links to the Nouveau products used in these cards in the description box, but there are way too many dyes and other products to link. However, each of these cards will be shown on my blog this week, and in my blog post will be specifics on each card. Links to these blog posts will also be in my description box. I first created cards with backgrounds using the watercolor paper pieces I made, each with several colors of the shimmer powders. I'm hoping you can see the beautiful shimmer of the shimmer powders on each of these cards. This first one, I made a thank you card um, using an Alta New Rose um, die set and many thanks from Tonic Studios. And in this one, I used the Solar Flare, the Violet Brocade, and the Blue Blitz. So a combination of three pretty colors, which I'm going to show you in my sample as well. <clears throat> this is one of my favorites of the cards that I created. Um, again, I, I'm hoping you can see the shimmer. Um, this was a combination of um, Catherine Wheel, Cherry Bomb, and Solar Flare. So a touch of yellow and um, pink, and then the Solar Flare um, is the yellow. And then the Catherine Wheel is a really pretty combination of, of several colors when you use it. Um, this is a pretty tulip um, edge dye from Technique Tuesday and another Tonic Studio sentiment um, to make that pretty card. Um, and this one is um, also a card. Um, basically, on many of these cards, all you need to do is have that beautiful background and put some nice dyes on top, and you have a gorgeous card. So um, this lighthouse was from uh, Scrapbooking Made Simple. This is a Penny Black sentiment uh, die, and I used uh, blues, greens, and yellows to create that. And I liked how the yellows were kind of coming out of that lighthouse. Then I moved on to specialty papers such as this Freshwater Pearl, a handmade paper from Tonic Studios Craft Perfect line, as well as another handmade paper I had in my stack. So, so um, remember in the first session I just showed you what the 
cards, uh, what those backgrounds will look like, and now I've made them all into cards. So this was that freshwater pearl embossed paper that was white, and then I added some blues and a violet brocade, and that's uh, a beautiful background, so easily made with these shimmer powders. And then again, added a couple dies on top um, to make an easy but beautiful card. This was a, just a handmade paper that I had, so it wasn't watercolor paper. All the other ones that you saw, except for that freshwater pearl, were with watercolor paper. This was a handmade um, paper that was in my stash. And that um, black and purple together on there is just gorgeous in real life. Heartfelt Sympathy is from Tonic Studios. And this one was a new dye I got from Janine's art um, and it's called Rose Corner. Um, in making all these cards I was really happy to try many of the new dyes that I hadn't had a chance to use yet. All you need to do to get a really pretty background with this powders is to tap it on to um, cardstock or watercolor paper and then spritz it with water. Um, I like to tape down the edges of my watercolor paper, at least two sides, sometimes four, to prevent the bowing that happens when you put the water on. Um, if you don't, um, and some people just don't do that, um, the, the paper will bow or, or bend and the water will drain to the sides even more than it does and um, that tends to make a uh, a side that I don't really care for. Now I always start with a piece of paper larger than what I want on the final card because sometimes you're going to want to cut off all you know two or four sides and especially this area here is still going to be white when we're done. So all you need to do is just tap, tap, tap. You don't need an awful lot but of course you can always add to it. I like to do several colors, two or three um, but again it's you know totally up to you and then you're gonna just spritz it with water this is the Nouveau light mist spray bottle and you can just see those powders now sometimes you can just leave that um, just the way it is um, I'm thinking that it needs a, a little more um, powder and sometimes you can also spritz the water first, I uh, spritz the paper first and then add the powder. So again, it's something you're just going to have to play with. Um, now, um, I like the look. It's really pretty just the way it is. Um, sometimes I like to move uh, like the, the dotted areas or the thicker areas around a little bit and sometimes I use a uh, like uh, a mini mister to do that. And then I use a paper towel just to pick up some of the excess liquid. Now you can heat set this now if you wish um, with a heat gun. Um, I prefer to let it dry naturally otherwise it moves the water around and if I'm liking the look that I have um, I don't want to do that. So just pick up a little of the excess water and then move it to a drying area in your room or uh, wherever you might have that. I'm going to use a wet shimmy cloth to clean that up. The shimmer powders can be activated with other liquids besides water spray. I used Nouveau's Aqua Flow pens to lay down a colorful liquid on this piece and then added some shimmer powders and I love the final look. So these are um, Aqua Flow pens and they're actually wet 
paint pens in, in essence and I laid down some color with that and then I sprinkled some of the um, shimmer powders on top. Um, I I love how this card turned out. Um, that is a new die to me from, uh, it's called Cattail Surprise from Memory Box. And first I tried to bleach out the moon part, um, but that didn't pull enough color out. So then I added a vellum um, a moon cut out with thicker vellum, and I love how that one turned out. One of my favorite all-time shimmer powder techniques is to dump them into wrinkled cling wrap, spritz it with water, and then put a piece of glossy paper in the glorious mess. I did that with this Thinking of You card, and it is one of my favorites of the ones I've made and I'm sharing today. I die cut you out. We're using Cat Scrappiness Condensed Alpha Dyes and raised it on black foam. Um, this is a die also from Tonic Studios, so it is a Thinking of You card. I um, used another background um, of that type to make this card. Um, I embossed the background with a seashell embossing folder and then highlighted the embossing with Nouveau Mother of Pearl embe embellishment mousse. Then I added some seashells and a seahorse and all of those are cut out of paper that I, I that I made with those shimmer powder um, cardstock pieces that I showed in the first part. So this is another favorite of mine. Um, here is how I made this card. Um, I used some HP photo papers, which is a glossy paper, um, and I have a ton of them as you can see, so I just decided to use this for that. But any glossy paper will do. Um, in fact, you could try other papers too, but when I learned about this technique, it was always using glossy paper. You take a piece of plastic wrap or cling wrap and you kind of wrinkle it up and then you're going to dump some um, shimmer powders in there um, I used black and my favorite of all of them which is the violet brocade you're just going to sprinkle some of that in the wrinkled cling wrap. And then you <laughs> spritz it with water. And you make it just a glorious, wonderful mess. Then you take your glossy paper and you just smudge, smush it in there. And you fold up your sides. And you want it to be very wrinkled, so emphasize those wrinkles in there. And then you allow it to dry for about 20 minutes with the cling wrap on and then you remove it and let it sit to finish drying. The first time I did this I um, left the cling wrap on overnight and I figured for sure when I got found it in the morning it would be dry but it really wasn't. The paper was still damp. So the key is to let it sit for maybe 20 minutes, half an hour and then remove the cling wrap and then let it dry. And this is the gorgeous results that you get with that. And of course this is the Eclipse technique where I raised the letters so I'm really happy with how that one turned out. Another favorite technique of mine is to 
create a bouquet background over a shimmer powder piece. Bouquet is a photography term defined as the visual quality of the out of focus area of a photographic image. I created this masculine thank you card with a piece of craft paper made with the shimmer powders and then I added a couple feathers um, and a thanks die um, all cut with pieces from the um, shimmer powder on darker cardstock with embossing powder. So um, how we create this one, I, um, I guess I wanted to show you something first. Before I show you how to create the bokeh background, let me point out the bottom on this piece. That is what happens when I didn't tape this down. So when I was making it with the blue painter's tape. So um, the water uh, collected on the side and created that line there. Now it could be cut off but then the piece would be too small so I'm going to try to cover it up with the white inked circles but that's what I was just telling you that's why I like to tape them down. Use a piece that's bigger than what you need and then tape it down and then you don't get that line of water down there like that. Um, I created a stencil myself with um, various punches and dies that were in circles. You want to use a juicy um, white pigment ink pad and sponges of various sizes. And you're going to um, sponge through the circular um, holes and the smaller the hole, the darker you want the white color to be. So um, it's kind of like it, it's like from the front to the back and the back ones are the bigger um, openings. I should have taped this piece down and I will do that when I finish this one so it doesn't move so much. I use a temporary tape in place and so this stays in place while we're doing that a little better. So you can see that circle and then you can um, sponge a, another circle right attached to it and you want this one to be a little darker. So a light circle and then a dark circle. And then you can sponge some little ones. And so on. So um, we'll do one more larger one. So we have some larger circles, some medium, and some smaller ones. And you would continue um, covering that randomly using that stencil. And again, you would kind, you would get a look like this that has some medium uh, circles, some larger ones, and um, that is the bouquet background. The next technique I'm going to show you uses inexpensive tissue paper, white tissue paper. Um, you simply sprinkle shimmer powders on a piece of white tissue paper and spritz it with water. Um, this is what the paper looks like when it dries. I suggest doing that on a firm surface or a craft sheet because at this point the wet colorful tissue paper cannot be moved. 
um, if you tried to move it it would it would rip um, it will have to sit and dry completely it will take at least an hour or two and then you crumple up the tissue paper until it's totally wrinkled and these are just some small pieces I had left um, and you attach it to a piece of cardstock that's covered with um, two-sided uh, tape um, either in rolls like this one or in sheets um, I find the two-sided tape from Su Quang works is the easiest way to secure the tissue paper and wrinkles and this is what the tissue paper looks like after drying and this is the card that I created with this technique I used cherry bomb Catherine wheel and solar flare to create this tissue paper background then I simply tap Versamark on the wrinkles lightly and add gold embossing powder. I am using glitter embossing powder called Gold Enchantment from Nuvo by Tonic Studios. If there is too much embossing powder some can be removed with a brush or a Swiffer and then I heat set the embossing powder with a heat gun. Um, so this is the sample that I made um, already and um, showing that technique and you can see that gold embossing powder in the wrinkles for that lovely look. This one, I um, created this wrinkled tissue background with Cherry Bomb, Catherine Wheel, and Solar Flare. And now I'm going to lightly tap Versamark or some type of embossing ink onto it. And you do really want to just lightly tap because you just kind of want it on the wrinkles. You don't want it on the whole piece of paper. And then you take um, embossing powder, um, and again I've chosen a gold one um, that has glitter in it from um, Tonic. And as you can see, you just really want it on the wrinkles on top. Oop. And there you go. Um, that is a really pretty look. I can remove some of that in between the wrinkles if I want, but I don't think there's too much on there. Now um, I would heat set this with a heat gun but that would take too long um, so I'm just showing you this uh, as an easy sample of how you can make this gorgeous background and again here's the card that I created with that. Um, my last three cards and the last technique I'm sharing with you um, um, are these. Um, I watched Paula on the newest Hochanda Tonic Studios shows demo this and I knew I wanted to try this technique which uses shimmer powders, Nouveau Glimmer Paste and stencils. Um, for my awesome card I used um, a um, three shades, three colors of shimmer powders Moonstone Glimmer Paste and a stencil from Tonic Studios. So um, this is the Nouveau Moonstone Glimmer Paste, and it is white. Um, you use a stencil knife and a stencil. Okay, I'm running out of room here. Um, and this, this stencil is from uh, Tonic Studios, and this die is from Tonic Studios, and then these flowers are from... Um, impression obsession they're called geometric flowers and I cut those out of um, other pieces of the of the watercolor paper that I had made um, that I showed you in the beginning this soar card was made with a Tim Holtz stencil Nouveau Moonstone Glimmer Paste and yellow shimmer powder with just a hint of red. I sponged blue ink in between the sun rays and I added a Flying Goose from Memory Box and Soar, which is a beautiful dye from Quiet Fire Designs. Uh, this is the card that I'm going to demo this technique with. I made mine a mixed media card by adding script stamping 
um, using a stamp from Free Range and my Tim Holtz stamp platform. I also sponged distress inks through a cool stencil from Stencil Girl and added an elephant cut with a penny black die. I um, hold the card down again with some temporary tape runner on the back. I am using an ice layers layered adhesive texture from a stencil from Faber Castell. Don't need that hair in there, huh? Hope I can get that out. There we go. Um, this these this stencil is sticky. So it, it stays down, um, which is very nice um, for these techniques. Um, then I used red, black, and yellow. And basically all you do is just tap, tap, tap again. Some of the color. Now I am almost out of um, the uh, shimmer paste, the white moonstone glimmer paste. I have some more on the way, but I'm hoping I have enough in here that I can demo this to you. So um, you use a stencil knife and you, you put it down and then you just move it along and you pick up some of that color and it just mixes in with the moonstone shimmer paste, glimmer paste, shimmer glimmer. I'm trying to do one color at a time. And again, I'm almost out, so I think there's enough here. You just want to make sure you have the glimmer paste in all of the openings of the stencil. Now this is really pretty and on, when I was doing this technique I went ahead and grabbed another piece of paper and another stencil and used up that um, glimmer paste that was mixed with those colors um, but um, I am, I'm almost out so I'm going to go ahead and put it back in um, the uh, container for now. You would want to clean the stencil and the knife off um, or at least soak it right away so the glimmer paste doesn't uh, dry on it. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed these um, all the sample cards and techniques I have shared in this video using Nouveau's shimmer powders and will give them a try. Thanks for watching, sharing, subscribing, and helping me share the joy of creativity.